welcome to Archer Learnings and in this video we're going to see about UA Path UA Automation Next Activities Package and this is the fifth video of the series and if you haven't watched the previous videos then go back to the channel and uh, watch all the videos which are on this UA Automation Next Activities Package and get back to this video and in this video we're going to discuss about hover activity in this particular package and let me give you an uh, introduction about hover what is hover hover is nothing but uh, when i uh, go, go to the amazon website uh, if i uh, move the cursor over these elements here there is nothing happening but when i move a uh, cursor over here then you can see the elements uh, display here in the list your list so create a list or find a list of registry and this is this is called hover when i when we move the cursor over them then a list of will be displayed to us this is uh, hover then the it will not click here but it will hover uh, this is how uh, the hover activity will work so we will see how we can use them and what are the properties that need to be set and before to that if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos and if you like this video please give it a like if you have any other doubts please do mention them in the comment section below so uh, we are using the same flow uh, so that uh, we are using the amazon website so we are reusing this particular workflow from the previous video so what we need to do extra here is we need to drag uh, drag and drop the hover activity over here and first we will see the properties of this particular hover activity so these are the common properties which will be delay after delay before and the display name and the timeout property where here the uh, options properties we can see the duration here how much longer the hover should be uh, la last we, uh, if that is 5 seconds it is in seconds so we can give the integer value there if I give it uh, 5 seconds delay so it will take it as 5 seconds so it will last for 5 seconds on the hover so this is the input mode whether it is a app or browser or, uh, or it is a hardware element events or the simulate type so first thing is I need to indicate this particular target on screen so let me click on that indicate on screen and then select this particular account on this so that we can able to see the whole image so uh, click on confirm here so it will uh, indicate me this particular hover image so let me run this one and see whether we are able to uh, achieve that or not so let me close this one because the here the browser activity will open another browser for this particular activity so the robot is started now so it will uh, open a browser and then it will hover this particular image i think i op i closed the same browser which is opened by this so let me stop this one and click on debug again so that we can able to see the workflow running so the workflow is starting now so it is loading to display the amazon website now and uh, if it is it now it need to do hover on this particular account and list so uh, whenever we open the amazon website you are able to see that particular sign in already exists there so when the cursor moves to that particular account and list then it will show the list as like that so this is how uh, actually the hover element works in this particular year for studio and on this activities package list so this is all about the whole element act whole activity in your path automation next activities package and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos and if you have any other doubts please do mention them in the comment section below thanks for watching